What is up guys, Patterson Yan, today's FIFA 17 video, what we're going to be doing today is looking through three players in particular, they are Usman Dembele, Steven Nzonzi and the man himself, the king of nachos. So as you can see by the team, yeah, we have got a good team and it's very solid. One player that I'm a little bit thingy about at the minute is Martial, he's kind of one of those players that's good to kind of start a mid game and then the latter part of the game he kind of drifts off because some of the players are that high quality now with team of the season that he kind of just goes kind of shadowed in the game by certain players and if your opponent's got good players within like the Kyle Walker and form and stuff like that he can be a problem but with the three that we're talking about today they are very solid and they're a very good pairing is kind of linking up through the play, through the play. As you can see, look through if some of the stats here, and very good stats on every player. I would say the one that I would recommend the most is probably Nacho, just because he's a free card to get right now, and then after that you won't be able to get him anymore. So the time this video is going up, he probably isn't in the knockouts anymore, but before that he was. And you can see on screen we're looking through a few of the stats and stuff like that. I would reckon, recommend Nzonzi just for his price as well, just hitting over the 140k mark, very good card for that price. What I would say about Nzonzi though, you've got to be careful what kind of players you put around him because he's so slow with the kind of coming back and stuff like that, that he always leaves a gap behind him. So I'll play him either on the left or right hand side of the midfield and that way you've got someone in the midfield they can't hear or... Renato Sanchez who's very good at picking up the ball quickly so we're going to look through a few of just some highlights I got with him I think some of them go on for a while and it's just to see more of the build up play from the game and see how it's kind of developed over the few weeks and normally in Foot Champions Arise videos I just show the goals but I actually want to show you how I played up and kind of the start and build up play which I like playing that part myself because I would rather show you the build up play and then the goal than just the goal itself. I think that's a better way to do it. But especially in Foot Champions Arise, it's hard to do that stuff when you kind of got 20, 30 games in a weekend and you've got to show every goal. So that's why I only show you the last 10 games. And that's why I only show you 10 games and mostly just the goals. I never show you the either the skill moves or the kind of, there's a little bit of build up there but there's not much, it's like the first three or four passes and then I show the goal so there's not really much in there where this one I've tried to keep in some more just basic stuff with me centre backs and just some, there's not much with everybody but there's variety in every position we're talking about today which I would recommend all three of the players like I said before, I do really like the team and it's kind of similar to the team I'm going to go with for this weekend's for champions which is just tomorrow when I'm recording this on a Thursday night so you'll probably tell I'm kind of tired right now because I've already done a lot of videos today and it's kind of when I record is normally either Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday Thursday I normally do the reward video and then I stop because sometimes on a Thursday it's hard to record one people in the background that's why a lot of the times I kind of actually record during like I have a small window when I record so I can't do stuff daily that much because other people kind of complain about it and stuff like that where I live. So I can't do that every day so that's why it's kind of... I'm kind of surprised how I'm still doing daily videos to be honest with how much kind of background stuff goes on when I can't record and stuff like that. It's kind of annoying but let's get back to the video. So something I would like to talk about is David Luiz, this is kind of a weird one to talk about Usman and stuff like that. But it's a longer video so we've got some time to talk about it. Is David Luiz's price, I think he's still 800k for a centre back David Luiz. And there's a lot more centre backs for the price range that are a lot better than him to be honest. I used him as a centre back a lot when I was playing the Foot Champions the last, last week or the week before. And he's definitely not worth that 800k, I'm using his 90 CDM at centre back but he's still not worth, his 92 can't be much difference. So if you have that kind of coins for a centre back, I would, re 
either recommend Jerome Boateng's a good one or Chiellini's not a good one for like 20k so you can have both of them at centre back and they're both very good in my opinion probably the two best centre backs on the game after Chris Mullen and stuff like that other than that this, this week's team of the week actually there was a, a Zenith player who used to be a left back called Crisito and he's Italian as well and his centre back card looks insane but I think he's only 5 foot 9 so that is a problem but I'd recommend Aspilicueta if you're not someone who's bothered about winning headers from your centre back so other than that let's get back to the video I just went off in a rant there so as talking about this video with Usman and kind of the other players I was going to do Usman, Nzonzi and Lacazette but I thought I would kind of change it to a centre back instead of doing that so really Lacazette should be up there but I think his team of the season card was too much for me to kind of buy and I just didn't, I didn't really want, like I said, even though he's my top goal scorer in the club, I didn't want to, like, spend all the coins on one player, which I've done before with Ebra, and I don't think it's worth it. When, when I'll have a video coming out of me next for Champions of Rise, you'll see the kind of players I can buy for buying one Ebra. So I'll show you that in the next for Champions of Rise video. But it is two squads that are fully kitted out with nearly everyone's a team this season card. That's like, I think a lot of them are 90 rated, so there is that. And I've got players in there like Stindl, Jerome, Boateng, Plattenhardt, Semedo. I did actually snipe Semedo for 100k, I think it was last week. But now they've just released his price upgrade to 110 and now people are selling them. Kind of stupid to be honest. But... I get why he's probably the best right back in the game for his price definitely compared to someone like Kayla Walker who's still 300k and I would definitely recommend Usman Dembele as a player who's up on the Ronaldo level but the problem with Usman in my opinion is definitely his price range I can see him coming down at the latter half of the team this season for around 7-600k because I think a lot of the time, these big players with 5 star skills and the weak foot, a lot of the time they get shadowed by YouTubers and YouTubers pick them up as their favourite player. Obviously I can't do that because I don't have a big big audience, but I know a lot of bigger YouTubers love this Usman Dambelli and that's why his price has pretty much stayed where it is in my opinion. I don't think a lot of people use him as well compared to his 85 was... I didn't hardly see anyone use his 85 one to watch card when I had him. He was kind of one of them players people didn't use and as soon as he's got his 5 star upgrade people started using him. But he, this is kind of the similar team to what I started with like 4 or 5 months ago. Lacazette, Usman, in Zonzi's in form and I'd never used Nacho but I used his 83 left back at once. But that would normally be someone like Smolin or Winston Reid at the back. But I have used Inzonzi's in form before, so that's why I was so kind of curious to try his team of the season card. And I think it's definitely a good card for him, fits them all for him, definitely. So as you can see here at the team, very good team, recommend nearly every player on there. It's very solid, and this is my current team for Champions of the Rise video that's going to be up soon. You'll see both teams I've got, you can see them on the bench there. I've been Patson, thank you for watching, see you next time, goodbye.